Coming up this week on The Hype. Aussie star on the rise, Tandy Phoenix. Voting kicks off for E's People's Choice Awards and Ashley and Evan get set to share. Hey everyone and welcome to The Hype. You might not know her face yet, but you've definitely heard her epic dance hit produced by Rudimental. Tandy Phoenix is the Sydney singer set to take over the world and we're getting the lowdown on her massive year so far. But first, let's hit the headlines. The E People's Choice Awards voting is officially open in Australia and New Zealand. It's your voice and your choice. Vote now to nominate your favourites and celebrate all forms of entertainment across movies, television, music and pop culture. Nominate your top picks of the year in 43 categories from the binge-worthy show to the style star for 2018. Head to pca.eonline.com to vote. She's closed the Commonwealth Games, dropped a single with UK artist Rudiment and is hitting festivals with Childish Gambino and still finding time to spread the good vibes to young women in the industry. Tandy Phoenix has had an epic year so far and it couldn't be happening to a nicer chick. How did you come into music? For me, it was just a really natural thing. It's just kind of something that I had to do. If I went through anything, I was having a bad day, I'd just pick up a guitar and, you know, get out my emotions through song. Tell me about working with Root Mental. Yeah, that was honestly a dream come true. I was a fan of their work, first and foremost. And then I got the opportunity to do their support when they came to Australia a couple of years ago and, you know, just built the relationship from there. And then they ended up producing my song, which was just like, what? Sonos House had this incredible Battle Hymns initiative recently where yeah. they brought together some fantastic fantastic female musicians. Yes. There was Odette, there was Wafia and it was hosted by KLP. So everyone had a different story to their song and like how that song had impacted their lives or charged them up or inspired them. For me, a battle hymn was something that's going to like charge me up and get ready, not to go to war, but you know, to set me up to push for something. If I'm going to fight for something, I want that thing to be a positive change. And my one was Move On Up by Curtis Mayfield. For me, that song has just been, for starters, like, as soon as it starts, you know, just put you in a good mood. Like, you just want to... The message of the song, it's so powerful. It's so simple, just move on up, you know, push through anything that's going to bring you down. And, you know, life is not all, you know, sunshine, lollipops. We are going to have those really tough times, but they're just going to build us up. I can feel your heart like it's here inside. As a young woman in an industry like this, did you come against any challenges? For me, it was just being 100% sure on who I was as a person and what I wanted to portray in my music and how I wanted to portray myself and not allow other people to push me in a certain direction. I have been very lucky, I think. I've had very supportive people around me, both male and female. What female musicians inspire you? Nina Simone. I used to love the Spice Girls, you know, Beyonce. There's so many incredibly talented and powerful women who have impacted my journey, and so I, you know, I would hope to do the same to, to younger girls. Do you like musical theatre? I actually don't. I just got a real musical theatre vibe from oh, you. Oh, really? No, I'm probably, like, a little bit like... La, 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 la. No, but that's but... why I love you. <laughs> uh, I sometimes, like, change rap songs and do it, um, you know, Sound of Musical. You know, it's, a, it's just a fun pastime I have. Please tell I, me what you mean. I've got ho, a ho hoes in different area codes. Area codes, hoes. <laughs> this week we're hyped about our fave new guilty pleasure, Ashley and Evan. She's the naughty, slashy, and reality star who's taken some time out of the spotlight. He's the son of legendary diva Diana Ross, an actor and a musician in his own right. Together, they're Ashley and Evan. And they're hitting our screens in September. Okay, here we go. My mom showed me that you can be a stay-at-home mom and then go on in life and have a huge career. It's a non-stop whirlwind of love, family and music. At the heart of it, Evan and Ashley are a millennial couple, balancing kids, careers, their relationship, and possibly the world's most glamorous mother-in-law. I mean, for me too, even when I play songs for my mom, I get nervous because I'm like, oh God, I want her to like it. But Evan's mom is, you know, the biggest superstar ever. Catch all the action on Ashley and Evan Thursdays at 7 on E. That's it for tonight, guys. We'll be back on Saturday with hilarious star and writer of The Family Law, Ben Law. In the meantime, be pop cultured and hit us up for the latest in celeb, fashion and entertainment news. See you then.